Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, you're kind of getting a two for one deal because I'm going to be drafting two teams at the same time and they're both going to have their own stipulation. One is going to be a U24 team so I can only draft players that are younger than 24 and the other team is going to be a 32 plus team. So 32 and older and they will be a part of the same league. I'm going to simulate the year and we're going to find out which team does better. And I feel like it's also kind of important which draft pick you get. So I'm going to go ahead and randomize two teams. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do two different teams here. So the first team will be the Carolina Hurricanes and the second team will be the Calgary Flames. As far as I know, you can't control more than one team in franchise mode. So we're going to be using season mode here where I know you can do that for sure. I guess I didn't really decide which one is going to be which, but I think I'm going to make Carolina the U24 team. I don't know why. I just am. Okay, I wanted to make sure I turned fantasy draft on because I have not played season mode in forever. I have no idea how this works again. I'm just trying to figure out when the actual draft comes up, but I guess it's after this screen right here. So let's go ahead and start the season, I think. Maybe. There we go. All right, so Calgary gets the fourth pick. Carolina's not till 18. 32 plus, so Patrick Kane, Yossi, and Crosby, all eligible. Let's go with Patrick just because he has the 10.5 million. I'm not really gonna worry about salary in this video too much. I'm mostly just gonna try taking the best team I possibly can because it's season mode and the computers are gonna be doing the exact same thing. So there's no point trying to follow those rules. Jake Ottinger at 86 overall. I don't think he's an ideal first round pick, but I don't really have too much to pick from forwards wise either right now. I could bring Svechnikov back or we could go with Jason Robertson or Miro as well. It's one of these three. Robertson does have an X factor. Miro's got some abilities. Same with Svech, but I think that's the only separator. I'll go with Jason. Suzuki is the next eligible player at 86 overall, which leads me to believe I should possibly take Jake Ottinger. I guess there's also Swayman, but will they last that long? That is the question. Any other goalies after them? Okay, you know what? There is some options, so let's go with Suzuki. Malkin and Patrick Kane playing together. Uh-oh. And they're gonna get Markstrom as well. This team's gonna be insane. Goalies really don't seem to be going quick. Ottinger is still there, and that leads me to believe that Swayman and Knight are also still gonna be there. I suppose the real question is how long do we wait? Because they're probably all gonna be gone in one round. It's just gonna work out that way, you know? I'm gonna be like, yeah, they're still all there. Maybe one or two of them will be gone after this round. No, they will all be gone in the blink of an eye. It's another centerman, but it's kind of hard to say no to Nico. 86 overall, making 7.2, holy, but he's under 24, so let's go ahead and draft him. Another centerman for Norris here. He's 85 overall. Let's see if there's any other 85s, maybe, because they could also use a defenseman. And how about that? 22 years of age, Noah Dobson at 85 overall will be the next selection for the U24 draft. The vet team will take Chris Letang, because why not? <laughs> Their team's gonna be so good. It's actually scary. Oh, no, I was gonna take... Oh, wait, yeah, Pavelski's still there. Why not? That first line is gonna be outrageous. I do still feel like this U24 team could put up a great fight, and I think they will do all right. That's a rhyme. Poet, and I didn't even know it. I'm taking a goalie right now before it's too late. I don't care. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Yeah. So remember what I was saying? Kinda happened. Are you kidding me? All right, Uko Pekka, I guess you're the goalie. 23 years of age at 80 overall. I can't believe that. You know what? No, I can believe that. The vet team will take Perron and probably a defenseman next, I want to say. Ekholm's right at the threshold. He is 32 and a left-handed defenseman, so he will be paired up with Kristoff Letang. Keandre Miller, 22 years old and 83 overall. That is a prime pickup for the Carolina U24 draft. I really want this U24 team to do well, but it is not shaping up to be a super solid team at the moment, especially compared to the other one. But you know what? The simulation engine in this game, anything could happen. They could still win the President's Trophy, honestly. Another defenseman in Bouchard or Hag. I could take either or. Bouchard is a right-handed defenseman. Hag is left. I want to say that they might still be here after this round, but I'm not really sure. He's six foot six. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Sign up, Nick, immediately. We'll add Kalorn to this team, 33 years old, and we will go ahead and also try to add another centerman because right now 
There's only one. We could add Henrique, 83 overall, and once again, at the bottom of the 32 threshold, let's go ahead and make that selection for Calgary. Caden Primo is the next best goalie for <laughs> the U24 draft. 79 overall, not too bad. Yeah, let's go ahead. Don't really have much of a choice, unfortunately. Holy, it is not easy to find a U24 player. They just go like crazy in these drafts, apparently. But we're gonna go with Mario who is 23. He's also a defenseman. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't really have much of a choice. This team could use some defensemen by the looks of it because right now they only got two. So we'll draft Suter. And because why not? They'll get Brent Burns. I wonder how that team's gonna simulate. I'm pretty much just drafting almost like the best possible team I can for them. So it's gonna be intriguing to see if they even get the Stanley Cup or not. I feel like they probably won't. We're down to the 80 overalls and Villamaki is another defenseman. This team is cursed. I should have done U25. There's so many players that are 24, but we will go with Max Comtois. He's a left winger. He is within the range for the Carolina Hurricanes. Cam Atkinson, sure, why not? Another right winger and another great player for the Calgary Flames. And let's take Anders Lee to be the left winger there. Maybe the youthfulness will prevail. I have no idea, but I'm going to go with Kurashev, who is a centerman. I know that this team already has a ton of centermen, and I'm probably going to have to take McLeod next, who is another centerman, but I, you know, I'm just grasping here. I guess I'll go with Paling, 79, another centerman, shocker. And I hope it doesn't do that thing again where, you know, like the birthday happens between the draft and when we start the season, and then some of the players are 24. I mean, I'm drafting them at 23, which is the whole point anyway, so... Yeah. Apparently, everybody under the age of 24 is either a centerman or a defenseman. Another defenseman? No, I refuse because we are already full on defensemen. I can't do it. We can take another centerman, I guess, in Anderson Dolan, but holy, can someone play winger, please? This Calgary team is going to be so stacked and watch them somehow do worse. I wouldn't be that surprised, honestly. Stop being defensemen. Oh my word. A winger. Leeson. You legend! I suppose I could sort by forwards. Probably make my job a little bit easier. Kate's making his return to the channel. Number 49. 78 overall, not too bad. Another centerman, but at this point, I'll honestly take it. Just to show you real quick before we do finish the draft. Everybody is 23 or 20, wait, yeah, 23 or 22. There's a lot of 23 year olds though. Okay, whoopsies, I was only sorting by forwards because that's what I was trying to draft, but yeah, here you go. All right, so we need to draft one more player for this team. And then we're done. We can draft our final player for Calgary, who's going to be insane. 76 overall. So technically, we didn't drop below 76. They could still be all right. Right? I think. And just double checking for Calgary here that everybody is 32 and older. Yeah, no one below. Okay, this team is so good. Holy. And then Annette got Quick and Markstrom. All good to go. I doubt we'll have any problems with the best lines on Calgary. Carolina, we might have to make some moves, but we'll see. So we'll go ahead and do the preferred lines. And this is what we've got. All right, I was just double checking all of the ages and it looks like we are set. So Markstrom's gonna be the starter and then they've got Malkin playing with Kane and then Perron there. Okay, I'll allow it. I'm just gonna do best lines. I don't wanna edit anything. I'm gonna let the game do its thing. Defensively, they've got Ekholm and Latang, Burns, Giordano. Suter, Shattenkirk, very solid squad. It's Carolina's turn. To be fair, their top six, not so bad. They've got a very solid first line with Robertson, Suzuki, and Norris. And then, no, can't play Tanev. I will send Tanev down. I think he's the only one that needs to be sent down because we have Fabian as well, but I doubt he's cracking the lineup. All right, here we go. This looks more like it. So Robertson, Suzuki, and Norris. And then we've got Kurashev with Nico and Maxime Comtois. Defensively, it'll be Keandre playing with Noah Dobson and then Gustav Lindstrom playing with Nick Hag. They have a pretty good defensive core overall. Can't complain these two guys jumped up but again you know i drafted them at 23 like i said so that's what matters it would have been real nice real nice to have ottinger or swayman but i dropped the ball so they have luconan but he can get the job done i believe in him i do think calgary's gonna do better but i feel like carolina could be a dark horse here so we just passed the trade deadline carolina's not doing so bad 23 30 and 9 i mean it's not great but Honestly, I feel like I kind of expected worse. And then the Calgary Flames are 39, 20, and 6. So 
this team that is absolutely stacked is doing quite well, but not insane. They are 9-1-0 in their last 10, though. I can't help but try to imagine how different this could have possibly been had I drafted Swayman or Ottinger. Carolina did not make the playoffs. Calgary did, and they almost pulled off a reverse sweep, but no. They go down in round number one. A tale as old as time. Calgary finished second in the Pacific Division and third in the entire league. Carolina, where did they finish? Actually, let's check the Metro first. So they were sixth in the Metro. Not too bad. Oh, wow. They were 30th in the league, though. The Metro was just poo. Malkin had 90 points. Hatrick Kane was point a game. Pavelski put up a great number. What a wonderful number he put up. Letang had 57, Perron 56. And let's check out the goalies. How did they do? Not that good, surprisingly. Robertson had 61 points, Suzuki with 55. And if we check out the goaltenders, we've got a pretty okay performance from Luke Conan, all things considered. I know he did worse than Markstrom, but I mean, like, come on. What, what do you expect from the guy? You know what? Because I dropped the ball in drafting a good goalie, we're gonna do a rematch. You guys are getting some extra content today and we'll use two new teams as well. So we get Smashville and the Flyers. Now you know it would be really funny if I dropped the ball again and don't take a goalie, but no, that it's not gonna happen. I'll make the Flyers the U24 team. Smashville can be the 32 plus. Pick number six and pick number nine. So they're pretty close. Nashville is the older team, so they will likely be able to find someone quite easily which kind of sucks for the U23 team. Sorry, I think I said U23. I meant U24. If we did U23, it would be horrendous. And again, we're left with the same players. I'm going to go with Svechnikov this time, just because why not? Swayman and Ottinger both went in the same round again, but Spencer Knight is still here. 84 overall at 21. That is amazing. Other than the fact that I accidentally took Jeff Petrie for the U24 team, they're turning out pretty solid. I'll basically just have to make an extra pick for the Flyers. That's it. Also, for the 32 plus team, I'm trying to draft pretty much all new players just because why not? All right, here's everyone I drafted for the 32 plus team. Just kind of going through, making sure. Yep. And nope. Went one too far. Goalies. Okay, so they're all good. And then for the U24 team, Petrie doesn't quite qualify. But yeah, we got a pretty solid team here. And the most important thing is that this time around, there's a good goalie. Spencer Knight. I mean, I'm not saying anything about Luconan. I think he is a good goalie. I think he's going to be great. But in the game, he's only 80 overall, whereas Spencer Knight is 84. The Nashville lines look like this. No X factors in the offense, but some abilities, to say the least. Just a couple. They got Roman Yossi going with EK65. That is going to be disgusting. May or may not have done another whoopsies. Because Petrie was there, I saw six defensemen and thought they were just done. But turns out they need a defenseman. All right, we should be all good now. I think we sent down Petrie. Yeah, so we shouldn't have any issues. This is our squad. And hopefully they do all right this time. There is actually the correct amount of right and left-handed defensemen, which is pretty wild. And most importantly, they got Spencer Knight at 84 overall, backing them up this time. Okay, let's see if the youthful squad can do a little bit better this year. Okay, so fun fact. If we did get a good goalie, they would have done even worse. Maybe not though, they're turning it around here. Holy crap, this is actually incredible to watch. I don't even care about these trades. Let's keep it going here. They might pull ahead for, they may do 500. Nope, never mind. A seven game losing streak to end the season will destroy any hopes of that happening. Smashville had 48 Ws on the air. Let's see how they do in the playoffs. So. Basically, a draft of 32 plus is way better than a draft of U24. I feel like maybe I should have done U25 and they would have been better. And again, a sweep in the first round. You love to see it. Nashville ended up being third in the league and yeah, the other teams play way down here. It's last, dead last. Wheeler led this team with 70 points and Yossi only had 62. Kind of would have expected more from him. Suzuki had 64 points, Fetch had 62. Nico with 56. All right, well, you know what? It is what it is. I got a good goalie, didn't make a difference. It was kind of bugging me. I needed answers. So I did a U25 draft and this is what it looks like. That's the players <laughs> and here's the goalies. I'm done after this. This is the final one, I swear. Here's the offense. They got Matthews, Hagel, and Thomas together, and then second line's pretty solid. Bottom six, not bad. Defensively, it'll be Lindgren playing with Philip, and then Fabro and Ferraro, Stillman with Chalowski. And finally, Jake Ottinger will be joining the team. 
Joseph Wall will be the backup. Let's see what happens. I feel like I've done this in franchise mode and it was way better. Why do they suck in season mode so much? I take it back? They don't suck in season mode? What the heck happened? Okay, so I guess this is a mental note to future self. 25 is the age that you want to set the limit at. You 25 and then your team will at least stand a chance at the 32 plus team. They still didn't make the playoffs though. They ended up finishing fifth in the Pacific Division. All right, Matthew's got 83 points. Thomas, 71. Hagel, 67. Please, please, Ottinger. Okay, 907. We take that. He did all right. 291. I want you guys to try this. Try doing a U25 draft on NHL 23 in season mode, not franchise mode. And let me know how it goes. I'm curious to see if I've just been drafting piss poor teams or if it's just an extremely difficult thing to do but i could sit here all day in fact there's other things that i want to try out because of this but i can't because i will never stop so on that note um the video i don't know it, <laughs> i don't know what to call that it failed i guess but hopefully you're still entertained by me drafting teams and my fixation on wanting to try to get this to work but anyway uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed it still somehow i'll see you soon